are leaving behind quite a mess, so much so City Council voted unanimously tonight to make it illegal for people to feed them. 27 First News reporter Dan Martin was there. He joins me live in the studio now to explain how this ordinance will work. Dan. Erica, nature or nuisance? Many people admit the geese and what goes through them is a major headache and health concern for people enjoying the park. Now, if you're caught feeding the waterfowl, you could wind up with a ticket and pay a fine. Ronald Granado follows posted signs in Firestone Park by keeping his dog on a leash. He knows if he doesn't, he could be cited. Your dog's on a leash, you get a ticket. If uh, that's fine, and that should be the same thing. We have to control the wildlife. You have to control my dog. You have to control the, uh, the geese. These signs are new. Tuesday night, Columbiana City Council voted unanimously to start enforcing an ordinance against feeding wildlife in the park, mostly geese. I think that there's no way for people to understand the, the gravity of something unless there's some teeth that you can put into it. It's a real problem. You can't walk anywhere and they don't get out of the road and the droppings are everywhere and it's not healthy. The police chief says they'll start by issuing warnings to educate people. And we try to be reasonable and try to get people to change their behavior as opposed to trying to arrest or penalize people. But I just hate to see a, a grandparent or make a criminal out of a grandparent doing something with their grandchild or their a, a young family together. In addition to signs and citations, noise-making devices will help scare the geese away. If folks still don't get the message or are warned more than once, they'll wind up in mayor's court, where they could face a fine of $150 to $500. If you're told once not to and, and you do it anyways, I have no problem at that point. But I think at the beginning, this is more of an education and getting people to understand what, it, what it's causing. Remember back in August, Mill Creek Park came under fire for killing a couple hundred geese, making a mess of the park there. Mayor Blakeman tells me he's not opposed to going that route, but he didn't feel like they had to start there. City leaders and law enforcement will see how this new ordinance holds up first. Erica.